There is no worse feeling than seeing a warning light appear unexpectedly on the dashboard of your Honda. After all, it can be extremely troublesome and worrying if you are not sure of exactly what this symbol means and what action you need to take. The good news is that not all dashboard warning lights require panic or anxiety. A good rule is to treat the color of each symbol just as you would a stoplight. Red would indicate a serious problem that requires immediate attention. Yellow means that you should drive with caution and have the problem checked out at your earliest convenience. Green warning lights are typically not a cause for concern and you can proceed as normal. The Honda dashboard warning lights mentioned in this video can be found on virtually every Honda vehicle produced within the last three decades. If you have a question, please write me below in the comment section. Engine oil sensor warning light. This red warning light looks very similar to the engine oil pressure light with one key difference. The exclamation mark to the right will only appear when there's a problem with the sensor measuring the engine oil level. You should keep your eyes peeled for this warning light as you might not notice any difference in the performance of your car while it's illuminated. If the engine oil pressure light shows without an exclamation mark, you should switch off your engine as soon as it's safe to do so. Because this light indicates a problem with the sensor, you could ignore the warning and the engine oil level may be perfectly fine, but this is incredibly risky. If the sensor fails to measure low engine oil levels, your Honda could become more vulnerable to damage. Without enough lubricant, engine parts move less smoothly and suffer from wear and tear more quickly. This is one of the most serious Honda warning lights, so get it looked at by a specialist as soon as possible. Glow plug warning light, also known as the warming lamp light. Glow plugs are used to preheat the engine on a diesel car. You'll normally see the amber sign illuminate when turning on the ignition as your car warms up for the drive ahead. Once it switches off, you're good to go. Lane departure warning light, also known as the road departure mitigation indicator. The lane departure warning system is your safety net when your Honda strays from its driving lane. The light illuminates if your vehicle gets too close to lane markings and your indicators aren't turned on. Some Honda models will even apply steering torque and use vibrations in your steering wheel to alert you about your position in the road. If you veer over solid continuous lines, brakes could be applied as an added safety measure. When this light appears, you should quickly and calmly steer your Honda to a safer position in the middle of the driving lane. Front Collision Warning Light, also known as the Collision Mitigation Braking System Indicator. The CMBS reduces the severity of collisions by applying the brakes and alerting you about an unavoidable crash with pedestrians and other vehicles. When your Honda activates its CMBS, your car may also give off a beeping sound. Smart Entry Warning Light the Smart Entry system allows Honda drivers to walk up to their vehicle, open the door and start the engine, all without a key. You can open the boot and even lock your car using a button on the door handle as long as you have your fob nearby. If the technology turns faulty, the warning light will appear on the instrument panel. Engine Management Warning Light, also known as the MIL or Engine Management Light. When the engine management light is illuminated, it's often accompanied by telltale signs that the engine is not working properly, such as a lack of power or stuttering as you press the accelerator. This light could indicate a number of faults, from minor issues like a broken electrical sensor to a much larger mechanical issue, like a fault with your emission control system or catalytic converter. If the check engine light comes on, you should get it checked as soon as you can, as by continuing to drive you risk causing further potentially irreparable damage to your engine. Electronic Power Steering Warning Light, also known as the EPS or EPAS Warning Light. This warning light indicates that there's a problem with the power steering. For electric powered systems, this problem could be as simple to fix as rebooting a computer. Find a safe place to stop and try turning the car off and back on again after 30 seconds. If the light stays on, you should take your car to get checked as soon as possible. Diesel Particulate Filter Warning Light, also known as the DPF or Exhaust Particulate Filter Warning Light. If you have a diesel, one of these lights will come on if there is a problem with the exhaust particulate filter, which removes harmful soot from the exhaust gases to reduce emissions. 
it could indicate that the filter has become blocked with soot. As well as releasing a plume of toxic black smoke every time you press the accelerator, driving with a blocked filter could cause more serious damage to your car. You should go to a garage to get it checked as soon as you can, as these filters can be expensive to replace. Engine temperature warning light, also known as the coolant temperature warning light. This light will come on when the engine is overheating. This could mean that coolant levels are running low, perhaps due to a leak in the system, or it could be a sign of a larger problem, like a head gasket failure. If this light is red, you should stop straight away, as without enough coolant your engine could get so hot that it effectively welds itself together, causing irreparable damage. Oil pressure warning light, also known as the low engine oil or low oil pressure light. The oil warning light comes on when either the oil temperature gets too high or the oil level or pressure is too low. If the oil is not lubricating the engine effectively, it could lead to expensive or even irreparable engine damage, so it's important to act quickly. Tire pressure monitoring warning light, also known as the run flat indicator, RPA, or low tire pressure warning light. Many cars are now fitted with tire pressure monitoring systems that will let you know when the pressure falls. This could happen over time or it could be because of a puncture. The light often appears with an on-screen message to let you know which tires you should check. Battery warning light also known as the battery charge light or battery charging system light. If this light comes on when you're driving, it indicates that the battery is not charging. This could be due to a problem with your car's electrical system and it could have several causes such as a faulty alternator, faulty battery, bad electrical connection or damaged cabling. Your car will run as normal until the battery is dead, but once it is drained nothing in your car will work. So get to a garage quickly before you run out of juice. ABS warning light Anti-lock brake system is an important safety feature that really comes into play when you need to make an abrupt stop or in difficult driving conditions like icy roads. If the ABS light comes on by itself, you should still have normal unassisted braking, so it's safe to continue your journey. But keep your distance, take extra care and get it checked as soon as possible. If it comes on with the brake warning light, it could indicate that the brake system is failing and you should stop straight away and call for recovery if you have breakdown cover. Electronic Stability Control or Dynamic Stability Control DSC warning light. Also known as Electronic Stability Problem Light or ASR light. If it's flashing, it means the ESP system is intervening. For example, if you're driving on a slippery road. If the light stays on, it means the ESP system is not working properly. To check, try stopping and restarting the engine. If the light remains on after restarting, get it checked at the garage as the ESP system is an important safety feature. 